Welcome to a video of my 69 Mercury Marquis. Uh, I believe it's a two owner car. Original owner bought it new, obviously, and drove it until 98. And I think he couldn't drive anymore because we had bought a couple cars out of his collection. And in 2002 or 2005, he passed away. And the car uh, remained in the estate until last year. Then somebody else had purchased it, and they called me up uh, for me to purchase it. So it's a 69 with 80,000 original miles, and it appears to be all original paint, except for maybe this rear quarter. It had some paint blown in somewhere, you know, so it's tough to, it's tough to tell because if it was done, it was done a long time ago. Uh, there's some some little surface rust spots out here too the vinyl top definitely needs to be replaced it was torn at the seam so I had some leather tape I repaired it but it definitely it is thin the stainless is original the chrome is original and in pretty good shape but it's, it's a pitted you know this car was driven It's got the 429 V8 with two barrel carburetor, and you'll see pictures of that. Has air condition, I don't know if it works. So when I got the car, it wasn't running. So we drained the gas, replaced the um, fuel pump. I took the carburetor off, cleaned it up, put some new components in it, but it's still, you would either need a new carburetor or really go over the carburetor there because it's not really taking an adjustment. Uh, the timing needs to be set. Um, the lights work. All the glass is good. There's a couple things that I didn't do. I'll leave for the other one is the um, original wipers were removed, just the wiper blades. And I always get hell for putting black ones on so I didn't put anything on. Uh, this is glue. This needs to be cleaned up before the, the mirror is installed. Uh, the trunk is solid. It's got the original mats. The interior is clean, um, but needs to be really, really clean, steam cleaned. Um, you could tell, you could smell it's been sitting for a while. Um, the build sheet is in the back seat, underneath the back seat. The, the door jams. The frames, the pillars, inside here, all solid, no cracks in the dash. Headliner is near mint. That back panel has a mark on it. Original seats, seat belts, but you can see there's some stains. Uh, this needs to be steam cleaned, so I don't want to make it worse. Uh, no rips. Tires are... I would imagine from the mid to late 80s so you'll need new tires the brakes work and the car runs and drives I drove it about four miles here and we're gonna start it and you'll see that you're gonna buy a running and driving car but you still need to go through it um, new tires I would do new belt hoses spark plugs tune up set the timing but if you like these 70s cars, or uh, 60, late 60s, 70s cars, these big sleds, this might be it. This, I mean, this is a, just a great example of what it used to be like back in the day. So I'm just going to quickly, up. Oh, here's the mirror. You can see it's got some pits in it. Um, back here, some of the stainless. So it's definitely a driver. But you can make, you got great ingredients. Plus, you got a big block, 429. Uh, it's got a factory installed steering lock uh, So we're gonna try and crank this hog up I'm gonna Put you down for a sec All right So we're just gonna take you down the road I'll Let you know that you're getting the running driving shifting and stopping car I like getting these cars from this era. You know, just going through them and getting to the next point where somebody else doesn't have the know-how to get these things running. Um, 
I've been doing this for over 20 years and I just love the feeling of getting a car that's been sitting, you know, you look and see what you can find. Um, I found some interesting stuff. I found some money. Uh, unfortunately, in this car, I found a couple acorns and that was about it. All right. So, here we go. And like I said, the car runs and drives get up some speed here it shifts but you could tell I mean there's the settings on the carburetor are off it's got a little sputter to it there's the shift attention um, which I like to leave for somebody else for uh, tinkering around and uh, doing weekend work father-son project so there you go you got a car driving shifting running stopping and actually a very good-looking car with a rare color combination thank you for viewing